cooperation of our two companies will uh, like a uh, uh, happy marriage bear fruit oh. <laughs> <laughs> prosperity yeah. and profit so all thank you as you say skull 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 <laughs> to Ortnode and the motor called the future skull skull will you excuse me hello Venter speaking just a moment sir I put you through to Mr. Harburg oh thanks One more thing. Is my understanding not correct that... Uh, Henry Pinto? Uh, yeah, you're, uh, you're speaking. Harbour? Uh, look, what about that piece of lead I'm after? Uh, did you manage to get it? We'll get it, if you can afford it. Well, I can now. The chaps have just signed. Look, keep it under your hat, but we're building a new assembly plant, and I'm in charge. Full director. Congratulations. Thanks. So I want you to go ahead and close the deal today. All right? Make a nice celebration present for my wife. <laughs> oh, oh. Here, have another cigar. No, no, well, no, take no, a couple no, of them. No, no. oh. oh, I must go. Must have been a pretty important phone call. I'm sorry, but it was. You are direct, Anna. I'm called this also in Japan. Business is like an international religion. We are the high priest. Yes, that's very true. And uh, Mr. Nakua is called what? Chief Altar Boy. Yes, the head of department might be considered a shade lower. <laughs> Good joke. Uh, Melchior has wisdom tooth trouble, it seems, so I'm afraid you'll have to host the Japanese farewell party. Hope you don't mind. No, no, great idea. I feel like celebrating anyway. Good. Phone up your wife to join you. Take them somewhere special. You've got an expense account now. I'll try to live up to it. How's the toothache? Actually, it's fine. But I thought... Henrik's got the job. Let Henrik do the work. Thank you. Enjoy yourself tonight. Oh, drop by and try out my new sauna sometime. It's supposed to be wonderful for a hangover. Well, have a good time. Director. Tired. Oh, come on, Donnie. What kind of reason is that? You try looking after Charlotte when she's in one of her moods. Well, you want to try looking after three Japs? Now, come on. Look, put on your glad rags and come and help me launch the Japs with a bottle of champagne. Sorry, Henrik. I'm having one of my headaches. Well, don't pander to it, darling. I'm sorry, no, I'm... Look, 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 come on out with me and we'll lose it someday. No, it's been one of those days. I really do need you here. The Orientals have me on number. no help tonight. Have a marvellous time. I'm taking a sleeping pill. Spirit? Order for a book. Well, I have my car here, you know. I do wish you'd let me drive you to the airport. Not at all. You are on weekend now, Mr. Winter. We see you in Tokyo. Sayonara. 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 Ah, till then. Have a pleasant journey. Bye. Bye now. Whiskey soda. 
Small change for phoning. No, I haven't. How's the bowman or something? Can I help you? Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. He'll pay you back later. Your friend appears to be going to the telephone book, name by name. Yes, that's right. We're organizing a party. And you want not to not In principle, no. You want to come? I'm an old married man with a wife and children. Try. No dog. That too. Come on with us, man. You don't seem to realize I'm over 40. Oh, I've got a weak spot for mature men. King David died smothered in virgins, and he was older than you, sir. Where are we actually going? How did you get onto this pad? It's my aunt's bungalow. I stay there sometimes while she's away. I left my car there this morning. Hello? Is that you, Charlotte? Yes, Daddy. Oh, could I speak to Mummy, please, darling? Mummy's asleep. Well, wake her up for me, will you, please? No, I can't. Why not? Because she thinks I'm asleep, too. Oh, I see. But why aren't you asleep? Because, Daddy, I'm talking to you. I see. Yes, well, we're both being a bit naughty, aren't we? Are you sure you're all right by yourself, darling? Daddy, I'm not by myself. I've got my teddy. Hmm. All right, my love. Well, look, uh, try and get back to sleep, will you? And, and Daddy will be home as soon as possible. All right? Bye-bye, Charlotte. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye. There's your bottle and your chain. I sell something or other, you hang me up in a peg, Mark Square, is that it? Do it? Well, whatever the catchphrase happens to be for today. <laughs> so, this is where it all happens, eh? I mean, this is what it all adds up to. The hair, the pot. Be neutral, be uninvolved, do nothing, want nothing, believe in nothing. Doesn't have a point of view. Knows not where he's going to. Nowhere, man, can you see me at all. Can you see me? Are you there at all? Not going to be for much longer. Is there a phone around here? No, but there should be a corkscrew, damn it. How do I get to the railway station? You can't walk in this weather, can you? Take Suzanne's car, it's the big black one. The key's in the ignition. You can park at the station and leave the key in the glove compartment. We'll pick it up in the morning sometime.
before you say anything, I've got a confession to make. Confession? You rang last night and Charlotte answered, didn't she? Yes, that's right. Didn't you think that was a bit odd? Odd? Why? I got a bit sloshed. Well, I was waiting for you and I had one or two drinks and... It was silly, wasn't it? Yes, it was silly. You forgive me? I'm silly. No. Nothing to forgive. I want you to say it. Do you forgive me? Oh, I... No. I forgive you. Hey, tell me what happened yesterday. What? You had lunch with the Japanese. Oh, yes, yes. I, um... I had lunch with the Japanese. And, uh, everybody talked too much, in Japanese, of course. And they all drank too much and ate too much. And I found it was getting late, so... Yeah, but did the I... contract go through? Am I having breakfast with the director? You're not only having breakfast with the director, you're also having breakfast with the owner of a plot of land in Bellevue. Oh! That was clanging away, though. <laughs> it's Sunday. Ah, keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. Thank you. Why don't you give us a big one, all right? Yes. Since it's your birthday. This morning, the body of a 72-year-old man was found in a summer bungalow district near the north coast. The man has been identified, but his name is being withheld until the next of kin can be informed. So far, everything indicates that the victim was knocked over by a car. The driver apparently tried to cover up any traces of the accident. The police are at the moment concentrating on combing the district believe that the motorist involved may be locally connected. Any information which might help to clarify the cause of the accident should be given to the police and... Television? Yes, you know, the little box that all the pictures come out of. I simply can't do it. Of course you can. A man will ask you a couple of questions you can answer standing on your head. I'm sorry, I can't. Let somebody else handle it. Yeah, well, I suppose we could persuade one of the switchboard girls to perform, if the new director is so bashful. You can't duck this one, Vinter. I set up the interview with the television news service for tomorrow morning. If it doesn't fit in with your schedule, I'd better phone them up and fix another time. Either of you got anything else to bring up? Look, can the new company director reopen the case against his bearing on television on the grounds of what's the phrase? Lack of moral fibre? Objection overruled. I really mean it, you know. So do I. No further discussion, please, Venter. Tinted glasses, Mr. Vinter? Yes, always. Why? No particular reason, it's just. Silence, please. 20 seconds to end, eh? Stand by. 10 seconds. Industrial oracles are few. But when one of Denmark's big <laughs> automobile importers turns to producing and uh, starts building the largest assembly plant in Scandinavia, we ask, what of the future, Mr. Hurry up, Charles. It's time to on television. Well, speaking for autumn order, I suppose you could say that uh, we're putting all our eggs in one basket. It's an expression of uh, confidence in the home market. We uh, think it extremely unlikely 
uh, that there's going to be any immediate uh, uh, change in the uh, present European market situation on the, on the country. It's because of the uh, European tariff walls uh, that we have decided to join hands with the uh, rapidly expanding Japanese automobile industry, which of course is now the uh, second largest in the world. Will they be competitive price-wise? Ah, that's precisely the point. I'm sorry, could you, uh, could you repeat the question? Will the prices be competitive? Uh, uh, sorry, the, uh, the price. Uh, well, the cars which the Japanese are producing, and which indeed we will be producing here in Denmark, uh, price-wise, and I would think in quality, without doubt, will uh, be able to compete very favorably with any other car on the market. Their Majesties King Frederick and Queen Ingrid attended the opening of a large horticultural exhibition at the Bella Center today. Doesn't have a point of view, knows not where he's going to, no where man can you see me at all. Every year, over 25,000 adults aged between 20 and 49 die. Many have young children. Imagine the difference 50,000 pounds could make to your family if the worst happened to you or your partner. With Cornhill Direct's family cover plan, your family could benefit from up to £50,000 of life cover when they need it most. Call 0800... in at the reception desk downstairs. By who? I don't know, sir. The porter gave it to me. Thank you. Send her up. Won't you sit down? Thank you. So we meet again? Yes. Well, I'd actually counted on you pretending we'd never met before. Why should I do that? <laughs> well, there are a hundred and one things I want to say to you. Not sure where to begin. Well, first of all, I'd have done the same in your place. 
Well, that, that was one thing. Um, and then another, well, there were various things wrong with my car, uh, which was my responsibility. But surely you haven't come here just to tell me that. Would you rather I'd have come to your home? The man was dead, I suppose. He was? Has there ever been any suggestion that he might not have been? So if I judged your character at all, you wouldn't have left? Or would you? Or would I? In your place. I think we've already covered that point. Well, the, uh, the point is, what would you have done in mine? In yours? Yes, in my place I get my car confiscated. They find hash in my bungalow, in my aunt's bungalow. And they drag me in for endless questioning. They make me pay a fine because of all the things that are wrong with my car. And then I have to pay to have them all fixed. And then, on top of all that, I lose my job. Disastrous, wouldn't you say? I would say there's a more direct way of coming to your point. Yes. I'm getting there. You see, the firm I work for got tired of reading about my hash orgies in the paper day after day. It was a, a marvellous excuse of getting rid of me. Henrik Winter, I'm unemployed. I see. Well, I'm sure that answers can always be found to financial problems. That's precisely what I expected you to say. But I can't accept money. That would be blackmail. <coughs> Do answer it. Hello, Winter here. Um, look, I'm in the middle of a conference. Can I call you back later? Conference? Yes, right. I'll phone you back later. I've told you that. Goodbye. Now, what exactly do you want? I saw you on television. Suddenly, you seemed to be looking straight at me. I felt terribly sorry for you. It was strange. They were hiding in your dark glasses. All it did was make you look more like yourself than ever. That's not much of an answer to my question. Do you remember you asked whether I could see you at all? Well, later I thought, perhaps I ought to have got to know you. <sighs> but why? Why have I been looking for you? Isn't that the question? I don't want money from you. So there's something else. Something you can do for me. It'll cause you even less trouble. What's that? Get me a job. A job? Why not? I'm a publisher's secretary. At least I was. Well, don't firms have a... press secretary or whatever you call it? Well, what sort of firm have you got in mind? Yours. Press secretary? Call it whatever you like. Call it public relations. Do we need any more than we got now? Well, I think so. I mean, especially with the new model coming yeah, out. But surely, we don't want that to leak out yet, do we? If you ask me, the very last thing we... There's a call for Mr. Vinter. I put the call... All right, hold on my calls for the time being. The name is Strauss. The same lady already phoned twice yesterday. Oh, right, thank you. Uh, would you excuse me? I won't be a moment. Hello? Fix it all right? Nothing's going to be fixed if you keep on phoning. Guess where I am I can now. assure you if you... Where are you? You're getting warmer. No, not outside the window. Not this time. See you soon. 
convince me that we need a press secretary. Well, keeping the press at arm's length is taking up more and more of my time. Well, you've got a point there, I suppose. By the way, something entirely different. Tim. It's time that we were on first names. And Somebody wants to talk to you, Henrik. I'll, I'll fetch the coffee. What the hell do you think you're playing? You didn't guess I was ready for the canteen, did you? For God's sake, use your brains, will you, if you have any? He's the boss, isn't he? I'm a Strauss. One wrong Oh, I think you. we could be on first names, don't you? introduce myself. I'm the new press secretary. You really? Suzanne Strauss. I'm not sure I'm quite in the picture of Winter. Have we taken on... I think Miss Strauss is jumping the gun a bit. Am I? Well, that's something. Shall we sit down? I think I must have said something rather silly. Uh, may I ask you at this rather late stage just what are your qualifications? No. Well, Miss Strauss has been employed by a firm of publishers as um, a secretary. Press secretary. Press. Um, I see. Uh, and this is your only candidate? Yes, it is, actually. I see. Have you read this book, Unsafe at Any Speed by Ralph Nader? It's all about it's how... Nonsense, to... wild sensationalism. Uh, yes, we thought so, too. But our firm got hold of a man who really does tear him to bits. I thought perhaps you'd like to have a copy. All the arguments against Nader in one article. Yes, I'd, uh, I'd like to take a look. Miss, uh... Strauss? Suzanne Strauss? I think I made a good impression, don't you? I wouldn't be too sure of that if I were you. Well, it sounded to me as though it were up to you whether I got the job. If you clear out and give me a chance, I might still be able to arrange it. Hello. Venter speaking. Henrik, it's me. Listen, I'm afraid I've got bad news. I was talking to the architect this morning about the kitchen. He just wouldn't budge an inch. Everything's got to be the way they designed it. He practically exploded when I showed him my drawings. So I said that... Listen, Barrett, I'm rather busy. Can I call you back later? No. Now, you've simply got to listen, listen to me. After all, it's your house, too. Oh, I think you... You've let me down abominably, Henrik. You can't be so busy that you can't tell the architect quite plainly that we're the ones that are building this house. We're paying for it. We're going to have to live in it. We have a right to say something, too. Look, Barrett, I've told you, I'm... I'm, I'm not... Look, I'm talking... Look, I am not pickled, if that's what you think. And now you can damn well go and... I can't be bothered to talk to you anymore. I only did it for fun. I'm sorry. Get out. Hello, love. Still at it, are you? We designed the kitchen. Go home early. Yeah. I'm having a drink. Yeah. Yes. Mary. There's something I have to tell you. Oh, go ahead. My glass for me, Emma. If you open another bottle. Barrett, this is important. Well, I'm listening. You remember that evening I went out with the Japanese? You're going to remind me I was having too much to drink that no, night, no, of too, course I suppose. I'm not. It's not that. Um, 
But that evening. Don't answer it. There's only somebody breathing on the other end. Breathing? At least there is when I answer it. Going to bed already? I'm drunk. I want to go to sleep. Wake me when it's time to make dinner. I'm sorry, Merita. I've got to talk to you about that night. Yeah, I had too much then. I know I shouldn't have let you go alone. But it's just that when you're away so much, I... Oh, oh God, phone the architect. Tell him to design the house any way he likes. I'll keep out of it. I don't want you out of it. Don't you see it? It's part of all the years we've spent together. All we've been through. I don't want us to lose any part of that. Oh, Henry. off to the airport and I went back in there for a drink and I, I, was, I suppose I was feeling a bit lit down. I got this invitation to the party. I don't know why I went. It, it, was, it, was, it was boring and stupid. I wanted to get back to you. So I, I borrowed a car and um, car not even work properly and driving back to the station. Give that back. Strictly confidential. Ah, what do we have here? None of your business. Designs for a new model? What new model? Well, one of the journalists I was talking to seems to think we might be bringing out a new model. I hope you told him that was complete nonsense. Oh, I understand you wanting to keep it a secret. I mean, no one would want to buy the old one, would they? I'll tell you something else you don't appear to know. It's customary for people to knock on doors before they barge in. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to meet your wife. She looks nice. Her name's Barrett, isn't it? And your little girl. Not to mention the dog. I've been seriously thinking of going to the police. Oh, stop it. I'm only teasing you. Now, I promise I'll leave you and you can stamp strictly confidential on all your papers. Fine drafts from these Japanese. Mm, aren't we getting a little stamp happy with all this strictly confidential business? I ordered it. We're a big firm now. Drawings pouring in, blueprints, new designs. If everyone starts prying into your business, you don't know where it'll end.
Well, how are you settling into your new job? Which job? You asking me? Linda, haven't we got anything we can put Miss Strauss on at the moment? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Naturally. There's something I'd like to ask you. Uh, some of the people, the journalists and so forth, that I've been talking to, insist we're building this assembly plant for a new model. Well, if we are, I... You can just tell them that we aren't. Yes. But what I mean is, if I am supposed to be lying, I'd just like to know, that's all. It makes it so much easier. Nobody's asking you to lie about anything, Miss Strauss. You know, you could at least pretend to be doing something useful every now and then, if only for Henrik's sake. There seems to be an awful lot of pretense going on around here. Look, couldn't, couldn't we try... Well, I'd prefer you not to sit there. I'm sure his policies don't cover. Come along. Seriously, aren't you making rather a fool of yourself? What do you mean? Well, we all enjoy a spot of extracurricular activity once in a while, but you actually have to put her on the payroll. You've got a one-track mind, haven't you? I'm well, not blind, for God's sake. Well, it's not even that I blame you. You wouldn't have to push me too hard either, but well, if you've lost your head... You're wrong, you know. You're just as wrong as you can be. Okay, no offense. Uh, listen, come round before dinner. I'll get you a drink. Sorry, I have to take a rain check. I'm stuck. I have to finish this report of Falk by the morning. Suzanne Strauss. Barry Vinter speaking. I'd like to speak to my husband, please. Oh, I'm afraid he's just popped out for a moment. May I take a message? Who is that speaking? Suzanne Strauss, his secretary. Secretary? Press secretary. I see. Well, would you ask him to ring me when he gets back? Oh, uh, just a moment. He's just come back. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's your wife. Uh, uh, darling, I was just about to phone you. The fact is, I, uh, I'm going to have to work late again tonight, so uh, you'd better go ahead and have dinner without me. Well, will you be hungry when you come in? I don't know. Uh, you can leave something out for me if you like. Look, uh, darling, I'm sorry, but I've got to hang up now. Goodbye. Bye. You know, don't you, that everybody around here wants me to fire you? And you? You'd quite like to fire me. I don't know. I don't know what it is you want of me. I suppose you want to ruin me. That's it, isn't it? No. Couldn't we? Couldn't we just be a bit nice to each other? Everyone around here thinks we're sleeping together anyway. Getting angry suits you. It's almost as if you were here. Do you want me to throw you out? Yes, please. 
I don't want to ruin you. I just want to get to know you. Because I think we need it, both of us. I can't possibly manage it now. I mean, at this moment, I couldn't possibly take a holiday now. Well, maybe you and Charlotte could go down there together. I could try and come down there for weekends. Hmm. Perhaps you should try and get away from each other for a bit and try and sort things out. Start imagining things. 